Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Hitchhiking Yeti here and today I'm in Huntersville, North Carolina and we are here to check out a retro video game store that I think you might like. If you're if you're a fan of Nintendo or Atari, old school video games, keep watching because I think you're gonna like this. Let's go inside and see what they have. So we're right here on Old Statesville Road in Huntersville, Concord Road. And this is the place. This is Video Game World. Buy, sell, trade video games, Funko Pops, and more. Have Luigi out here. They got a PlayStation 2 light up. This is the signage they have. So let's not waste any time and go inside and check us out. And this is the inside. They also have a coin up arcade in here. As you can see, they have a lot of old school Nintendo games. Have an area over here with some plushes. Mario. Some Luigi. Check out some of these old games they have here. I remember playing a lot of this stuff. There's Bayou Billy. Fester, some duck hunt, dragon warrior. I can't remember how I got it, but I got that in the mail somehow with the Nintendo Power. I sent off for it and I got that game and ended up playing it all the way through. Right down here, another classic, at least for me, Russian Attack. Ten dollars. Have all kinds of stuff here. Skate or die. I used to play that quite a bit. I was horrible at it track and field. I used to play many hours of this game right here. Wood and Water Rage. I just like the monkey. That's the whole reason when I was a kid I used to like that game because that monkey looks so cool. That ape. And I used to play that a lot. Top Gun. I was a huge fan of Top Gun. Look at some of this stuff. There's Tom and Jerry. Oh, is that from that a lot of old school stuff here. This right here I used to play. I didn't even like baseball, but I would always play bases loaded. Check that out. The NES Advantage. I had that too. Used to. It wasn't a hundred dollars back then. I can tell you that much. But that was a lot of fun using that right there to play games. I really felt like I had an advantage when I had that. I didn't. I still wasn't that good, but I thought I was a little bit better anyway. This game right here used to make me rage it used to make me so annoyed i love batman but this was one of the hardest games i ever played this and uh ninja game really difficult oh check that out gyromite i remember playing that so even though this store is mainly about retro video games they still have a lot of playstation 4 xbox one video games so it's not all like super old stuff they do have some newer stuff in here too but it really does pride itself on its retro gaming playstation 2 games right here in front of me look at that call of duty 2 these old madden games now this is the madden games i used to enjoy playing this right here was probably my favorite one madden 2002 the one with dante culpepper on the front i love that game I played that game for hours. I mean, it was just crazy. Eddie George, that was my first PlayStation 2 Madden game right there. I think that's the first one that come out when the console come out in 2001, maybe. Here they have, they even have uh, some PlayStation 5 games in here. There's Mortal Kombat 11, Ultimate. So they have a little bit for everybody. Where's their duck set? That is old school. That is awesome. Ten dollars can be yours. If you don't like the original gray one, they have the orange one too. It'll come out a few years after that. Options are always good. Oh my goodness. This is taking it back a little bit. The Nest Max. Holy smokes. That is old school boy. They got some old Wii controllers here. 
for $15, $8, respectively. There's even an Xbox One controller for 40 bucks. PlayStation. Ooh, wow, there's a N64. That is, look how ginormous those controllers were. Man. That's fun times. People just don't know. And this right here, I was talking to uh, the one behind the counter. This Earthbound, most expensive game in the store. That's right, you're reading that right. $2,550. And it would be more, but a little bonus piece on the inside is not with it. But that is uh, pretty awesome. Look, there's a Sega Genesis Mini. We have some old Super Nintendo stuff. There's Mortal Kombat 2, which was my favorite game back in the day, $90. Got a few Mortal Kombat 2s in there. Demon Crest, it's $550 for that game. That is insane. They have a huge selection of games here if you're a gaming fan here in Huntersville. There's Yoshi's Island, that's $200. Off-road Baja. There's Legend of Zelda. I think that's Ocarina of Time, one two hundred twenty-five dollars. Have all kinds of good stuff here. I'm telling you. I used to like playing that too. The Batman Return of the Joker, Batman. It's two hundred dollars. Super Mario Two wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. Mega Man Four. I enjoyed all those. There's maybe one of my favorite Super Mario Brothers is Super Mario 3. I remember how hard that was to get when it first came out. It was unreal. $140 in the box. Beautiful. And here's some more of my favorites. We have Castlevania back there. That's $250 in the box. We have Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. $120. And then right here we have Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. Not sure what the price is on that one. Excellent game. Look, they got four Castlevanias. They got three stacked up right there and one right over there. And there's Ninja Gaiden. $100 for Ninja Gaiden if you like to get angry. That's a good one. <laughs> right here they have some stylish doormats this is the way there's a Super Nintendo controller there's Legend of Zelda that's Princess Peach Castle and this bottom one down here you can't really see it that's Legend of Zelda which would be this one right here they're $30 a piece so really cool stuff then they have a whole bin of old Nintendo Power magazines. Check that out. I had a subscription at one time when I was very young. Look at that. Oh, that was an awesome game, Excite Bike. I'm just going to kind of pan around and let you guys look at some of this stuff and this is very unique right here they actually have a wayne's world seven hundred dollars for them that is a very difficult game to find and right here's a game genie if you wasn't no good at games i hope you cheat kind of get through it <laughs> here they have plenty of super nintendo games look at all this oh game jump Right there is one of my favorites, Castlevania 4. I didn't even know they had a home improvement game, but it's quite valuable. $100 for it. And now we're starting to get into the Nintendo 64 games. Get down here where it's not as maybe you can see a little bit better. 
There is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which changed Zelda forever, because every game since then has kind of been mechanically very similar to that game. That game really changed it a lot to make it more of a free roaming game. That's an old, that's an oldie and a goodie right there. Killer Instinct Gold, which if you was a fan of the arcade Killer Instinct 2, pretty much the same game. But a lot of good stuff here. And here we have some consoles that they have for sale. There's an old Sega Saturn. Super Nintendo, right there's the Super Nintendo Mini that come out a few years ago. We got the Sega Dreamcast which was probably one of my favorite Segas. I hate it that it just didn't have the support it needed to survive. Never seen that one. That one must have been like a special edition. That's a Sega Sports Dreamcast. There's the first Xbox. Look at how big that thing is. It's like a VCR. <laughs> we got us a GameCube. There's a small Sega. N64. I have a Wii U down here. Here's the Xbox 360 Gears of War Edition. I actually still have mine. Don't ever get played, but it's still there. Good decoration for the room. They have no shortage of Nintendo Switch, PS Vita. Look at all these Nintendo 3DS games they have here. $8 a piece, a lot of them. Some of them are 20, but most of them are like eight bucks. So a faster deal, and here's some Nintendo DS. And this is a uh, regular Game Boy games. It's the old black and white version that I had when I was a kid. But all that stuff. I need some of the consoles right here on the bottom. Wow, look at that. That's like Game Gear. Sega Game Gear right there. I hope you can see it. Too much they're not too much glare, but it was actually really cool back in the day because it was in color where the Game Boy, the first Game Boy, was not. There's the old Game Boy games. Pretty good. And television. This is way, way back. Early, early 80s here few games then we have some Atari stuff there's Frogger can't miss Frogger look at all these relics from the past combat I used to play that never owned an Atari but luckily I had friends who had them Really, really good stuff here. Four dollars a piece for the Atari games. That is some old school goodness right there. I was a big fan of NBA Jam. And look at these old Madden games. Oh wow, there is Joe Montana Sports Talk Football. They have a lot of different anime figures here. If you're interested in that type of stuff, they have you covered. All kinds of things here. Dragon Ball Z. Look at Luigi. <laughs> he looks so scared and pitiful. My wife actually has this uh, Legend of Zelda. This Link character right here. She has this exact one. I don't think she has these other two. Though. She might have Zelda, but I know she don't have the, uh, the um, guy here in the middle. I can't remember his name. And yes, they have quite the assortment of Funko Pops. Funko Nation would be proud. I swear you get faster and faster every time. 
Is Funko Pops ever going to go away? That's my question. They're just, they're everywhere. And they have tons of them. Well, I keep saying I'm not ever going to buy another Funko Pop, but I have to get this one. This is Zack Snyder's Justice League Dark Side sitting on the throne. I've been looking for this for a really long time. Hard to find this one. He's going home with me. Oh, that's so cool. Smokey and the Bandit. It's Burt Reynolds. Bo, Bandit Darvel. There he is. One of my favorite movies. So right here on the back side of the wall where all the Atari games were located, this is all PlayStation 3 games. All the way down here to the edge. And then it transforms over to the Xbox 360. So some of these games, roughly about eight bucks. Man, that was a good game right there back in the day. MX versus ATV Untamed. Buddy of mine, we used to play that a little bit. The first Gears of War. I played that a little bit, just a little bit. If you know me, you know what I'm talking about. A lot of good stuff. That is some very brightly colored Marvel characters. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, and Doctor Strange. It's like psychedelic colors. $68. Only at Target. Well, it used to be. And then we have some DX love. Check that out. 32X, Sega Genesis 32X. That's Afterburner. That was one of my favorite flying games. It was great. Top Gun video games only wish it couldn't have been as good as that Afterburner. <laughs> but then right back there we have a Primal Rage, which is a long forgotten game. It come out about the same time Mortal Kombat come out. Had a lot of violence and stuff. Finishing moves. But it was like animals. It's creatures. All right, now we're walking out of the actual store part into where the arcade area is. So let's walk around here. Some of these are actually for sale. She said some of them have been sold. They might be turned off, but we're going to walk around and take a look and see what they got. So right here, not my favorite Mortal Kombat game from back in my arcade days, but it's definitely cool to see Mortal Kombat 4 on display here in this establishment. Here we have NFL Blitz 2000. And she did tell me that they buy them pretty rough condition and then they recondition them over time and get them working and then put them up for sale. They have some Super Pac-Man right here, the old Pac-Man cabinet. Still needs a lot of work done to it, obviously, but uh, she said once they finish up inventory, they're going to get to work on these and uh, get them up and running. Look at all those parts they have back there. Some old CRT monitors. There's an old Daytona USA. I used to love that game. Wow, check this out. Mortal Kombat 1. That is awesome. In great condition. Buttons feel good. You think my wife might let me drop... $1,200 on a Mortal Kombat 1 arcade cabinet, and it's even got Johnny Cage on the side of it. Not original a cabinet, though, I don't think. It don't, something just ain't quite right about the shape of that, but the lights and everything looks good. And I know with the refresh rate on the screen is making it flicker on my camera, but this screen really looks great. The graphics look amazing. It is, this is awesome. So some of these ones that look in pretty good condition, but they're not on, I'm sure that's the one she was talking about, are probably sold. So we had Defender. Defender, a very popular game from back then. Here's Donkey Kong 3. Here's a Super Mario Brothers. No, this is the Mario Brothers, not Super Mario Brothers. This was a much different game. I remember this one now. Then over here, they have another Mortal Kombat cabinet that needs quite a bit of work done. 
And this was more the original layout. It was always like an X on Mortal Kombat with the high punch, high kick, low kick, and then the block in the middle. Here's a Miss Pac-Man. Looks like the decal's coming off the side a little bit, but that's an easy fix. Just something about being in an arcade and hearing all this crazy gaming sound, man, just music to my ears. Yeah. And this was the old Area 51 cabinet. This was one of my favorite games to play at an arcade. It was a lot of fun. It was a fun shooter game you could play with your friends. Definitely want to come back sometime and see if they ever get that one fixed because that was a really good, good game. Here's an arcade game I've never seen before in an arcade, is Mario Kart, Arcade GP. It's a two player game, had steering wheels, check that out. I have never seen this before. You know, I played Mario Kart plenty of times on my home console, but never seen it in this, you know, in this fashion. I mean, it's like set up just like Daytona USA set up. All right, friends, that will conclude our video game world review today, our little walkthrough tour of the store to show you what they have here. Really cool to see some of those old vintage video games that I grew up on. They meant so much to me when I was a kid. I had a great time. So that being said, if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. If you like the content today, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please put them below. I love reading them. Until next time, I'm the Hitchhiking Yeti, and friends, I will see you in our next adventure. Please, everyone be safe.